where we had them eat. Where are we heading? <laughs> Sorley. I think we're going to go to Sorley, aren't we? So, um, yes. We are following Paul and Anthony. Leaving Shardley. Can you say what's going on with them? Um, I think we can. So they're, they're being filmed for a TV show. So we're cruising with them today, just a short distance, so they get some cruising footage. They have a TV cameraman on the back of their boat in front of us now so but yeah i mean normally we'd cruise for quite a way wouldn't we but we're um probably just going half an hour or so just for them to get some footage i think that's, yeah that's the general think that's plan the and then we'll let the film crew off and we'll head and to the river carry on. so we're going to go on to the river saw yeah well on to, onto the trend junction with the river saw and um start heading down the river saw Exciting. So, should be fun. Yeah. Get our life jackets on. And this get is get the dog life jackets on, and um, off we go. And this is the first time Paul and Anthony have been on these southern waters, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the furthest so, south they've ever been. I think it's been good showing them the way. If you've watched any of our latest episodes, you'll see that we've been travelling with Paul and Anthony from YouTube channel Now About Life Unlocked. We're on a 160 mile journey with 107 locks down to the Quick Boat Show at the end of May. We're in book four of the Nicholson's Guides. And in this episode, we'll be traveling east on the Trenton Mersey Canal from Shardlow through the automated locks at Sawley and turning right at Trent Junction onto the River Saw. The journey planner we use, Canal Plan, said this was a trip of a little over three miles and would take one hour and 42 minutes. Shardlow is considered Britain's most complete surviving example of a canal village. It has over 50 Grade II listed buildings. In the late 18th century, it was an important river port for the shipment of goods to and from the River Trent to the Trent and Mersey Canal. Today, most of the warehouses and other port buildings have been converted to other commercial uses or used as private houses. There's still several of the original public houses within the Shardlow Conservation Area. The malt shovel dates from 1799 and still has its original beams and floors. And the new inn is another one of the originals where you can sit outside and enjoy watching the canal traffic. See the warning system on the left there for when the river's in flood. The lights will show red when it's not safe to proceed, and the floodgates will close to maintain the level of the canal.
just moored up beyond bridge one. Um, we're waiting to see what's happening now because uh, to stop filming and uh, just seeing what the next stage is going to be. Whether we're going to go through the lock and onto the river now or whether we're going to wait and have lunch here. There you go. Thank you very much. Is it sumptuous? Always. Most of the time that we were travelling with Paul and Anthony, we were making plans that fit around having the film crew on board sometimes. It was exciting, but also quite challenging, making sure that we were moored somewhere that they could bring their equipment down the towpath and they could get back to their vehicles easily when filming had finished. And there's Paul and Anthony's lovely old boy Dexter come to say hello, oblivious that he might be the next TV sensation. <laughs> so Anthony's going off with the film crew, <coughs> going to his camper van and we're going to cruise on a little bit more to Sorley. Until the show airs though, we have no clue whether we'll actually be included or end up on the cutting room floor. We'll just have to wait and see. Bobby, Bobby, come, come on. Oh yeah. Come on, boy. Come on, get a treat. Good boy. That got your attention, really. Come on, mate. Let's get a treat. I'm going to go up and set the lock then, okay? Okay, yeah. Just walking up to the lock gate, I can see, I think there's a boat coming in. So they're emptying the lock to set it in their favour. And see if they need a help. So this is Derwent Mouth Lock. When we're through this, we're almost on the river. And you can see the safety procedure sign over there. So we've just opened the gate. This guy's on his own, so I said I'll put him through the lock. There's the flood sign there, so we're not anywhere near the red. So it's all good. Pop about huh? <laughs> it's a very leaky lock. It's just supposed to check that those paddles were closed. 
and they are, but the lock gate is just very leaky. There's a boat just coming, so that's perfect timing. We can just leave this gate open for them to go in. Jackets on, ready for the river. Yep. Paul's got his on. I think he's got Anthony's on because he's set his off about three times. <laughs> I think they had it, they went off accidentally and then he got a new canister for it, tried to install it and it went off as he installed it. So, uh, had his life jacket blown up twice. Is that the Derwent mouth over there? No, that's the train. Oh, that's the train. Yeah, okay. So that's the Derwent mouth yes. just there. boats moored either side and then as you get down to the next lock that's the one out onto the river Bef before the lock on the left there should be a facilities point uh, so we could just grab a bit of water and um, empty our cassette and I can, I can just make a quick call all right jolly good These are sorely flood locks and they stay open unless the river is in flood and then they close them to protect the uh, marina just through here, the moorings. Crick. <laughs> no, we're not there yet.
going anywhere nice? Quick, next stop, quick. We're just coming up to the water point and facilities block on the left. I think just beyond this boat. I'm just walking down and looking for the water point which is marked on the map but I don't see it here I just asked some CRT workers and they said there's water points along the towpath here but I didn't see them so I'm going to have a better look I found the water point it's just here <laughs> I've done the water and the rubbish, are you doing the loo? Is there a loo? Is there a... Yeah, there's an L sun. Where is it? Just over there to the left. Oh, sure, I'll do it then, yeah. Yeah, they're all filled up, we're filled up, we've done the rubbish. Just the cassette now. Some more green salt. We keep that yellow bag ready to go in our stern locker with all our toilet emptying supplies. Gloves, disinfectant liquid, disinfectant spray, and I think there's a mask in there too for when the L sun's really smelly. So, perfect timing again. Somebody's just come out of that lock, so we can go straight in. We're full up with water, rubbish is emptied, but unfortunately, the L sun is out of order, so we couldn't empty the cassette. But we've got a spare one, so it's not too bad. We're not worrying yet. Sawley locks are automatic that you operate with your canal and river truss key. The easy to follow instructions are printed on the operating panel and you just press a button to open and close the sluices. So the sluices are opening now, see the red bar moving up on the post there. I keep my finger on the button until it starts flashing and then release it and when it stops flashing then open it again press it again and it does it in stages Pete's going to stop by that ladder over there and I'm going to climb down the ladder and get back on the boat and then we'll be heading out on the River Saw.
okay coming down here? Um, yeah, I guess. Does Paul know where he's going? Entrance to the arrow wash is there on the left and we are going right down the saw. If we went straight on that would be continuing on the River Trent. This is the Cranfleet Cut which goes on to the River Trent. There's the arrow wash canal there. We're making a right turn here down the River Saw. Join us next time as we continue our journey south towards the Quick Boat Show. Thank you so much to everybody that supports our channel through Buy Me A Coffee and YouTube Super Thanks. We really appreciate you. And hit the thumbs up and give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. When I stayed on home, I need you on my fire. I want you to know. Every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place. I saw you